And giving us a live look at the weather now from Glenwood Springs, the river is rushing, skies are clear. It's a beautiful start to this 4th of July holiday across the state. We're just under a partly cloudy sky over the metro area. Live look from Westminster as well, waking up to temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Right now, Broomfield, you're at 64 degrees. Boulder at 67. We're seeing 40s over Fraser, Berthoud Pass in Dillon, climbing now to the 50s over Eagle, downtown Aspen, and across the plains, 60s this morning. So taking us through the afternoon, temperatures will top out near 90 degrees in downtown up through Erie, Boulder at 88, and we'll see 70s and 80s for the most part into a lot of our northern and central mountain towns. Our risk of seeing storm activity, though, increases across the eastern half of the state today. You can see our severe weather outlook for this afternoon. Downtown Denver, out through Sterling, down to Lyman, just east of Colorado Springs, we'll see the potential of picking up some storms that produce heavy rain, gusty winds, abundant lightning. So please, uh, if you do encounter a thunderstorm later on this afternoon, protect yourself, your family. If you're outside, definitely seek shelter through these afternoon storms. But by 12 o'clock, it's not going to be everywhere. Widespread, but some areas will stay dry, including potentially Denver up through Broomfield. You can see right around 12 o'clock, starting to see that storm activity over Estes Park, Allen's Park. Definitely bring the rain gear. If you're camping, spending any time through Keystone, Winter Park, down through Parker and Castle Rock, here's right around 3.30. The winds will be gusty from the south. You can see that chance of storms. Aurora out through Fort Morgan at about 6 o'clock up through Fort Collins and Greeley will clear out this evening up and down I-25. It should be a very pleasant evening overall. Temperatures will drop down to the low 70s right before midnight and skies will clear out. So up into the mountains, if you're spending any time mountain biking, hiking this morning, you're in the clear, but later on this afternoon, scattered storms will be likely 70s and 80s for highs. Tonight in Denver, chance for a couple of storms early, about a 30 to 40 percent possibility, and then partly cloudy skies, a low of around 60 degrees. So it will cool off nicely, but It'll heat up again for tomorrow afternoon. 91 degrees are expected high for Sunday. Sunset right around 830 both evenings this weekend. Taking us through our future cast for tomorrow, if you're planning your Sunday too. We're under a mostly clear sky all across the state for the first half of the day. Here's to around 3 o'clock. You can see up into the mountains, widespread shower and a few storms will pop up. And then across the eastern plains, mainly Greeley and east near the airport and south near Highlands Ranch, we'll pick up a couple of those storms after about 7 o'clock. So later tomorrow, but overall, it will be a drier day across Colorado. Monday, mostly sunny skies in Denver, 92 degrees. It is going to be really hot this next week. Low to mid to upper 90s expected through Wednesday. Good chance for seeing thunderstorms. Eric looks like Wednesday and Thursday again in the afternoon. We'll keep you posted on risks of severe weather because we don't love seeing that. But any moisture at this point, especially with drought conditions increasing, is good news for us.